show in which I talk about the video game industry and my opinions on it. I am your host, Zach and Douglas, aka The Unhero. And today, I have a very special video. Now, honestly, I really didn't feel like making a video tonight, but in light of recent events in the whole Gamergate scandal, I've decided that this video needs to go up, and it needs to go up now. Now, who is the lucky target I have tonight? None other than the infamous Anita Sarkeesian. Now, this is a video that I've wanted to do for the longest time, and I just haven't really found a way I've wanted to do it until now. Now, I'm, this is not going to be a video attacking her or calling her names or anything like that. This is going to be a calm, rational video on my thoughts about Anita Sarkeesian. Okay, let's get into it. Now, I don't think I really need to go into huge detail about who Anita Sarkeesian is. If you're a gamer, chances are you've probably heard of her. And um, she goes by the name of Feminist Frequency, and she has this web series called Trolls vs. Women in Video Games. To say that it's generated a lot of controversy is an absolute understatement. It's generated a firestorm of controversy. It's gained support from you know all those other social justice warriors. And it's gained a lot of disdain from gamers. I want to tackle a sort of a, a, an aspect within the Sarkeesian that I don't think too many people have tackled. The reason why she does what she does. Now I'm just gonna come, cause come I'm gonna come right out and say this. Anita Sarkeesian is a genius. Now why why would I say that Anita Sarkeesian is a genius? Well, because she knows what's going to generate the most controversy, the most negative attention. I mean, on the, the Trolls vs. Women in video game series, if you actually have watched one of her videos, to be honest, they're really not that good. I understand what she's trying to do, but the videos are just so are just so flawed with just fallacies and just generalizations and all sorts of other nonsense. And it just drags the quality down. But she knows that it's going to generate a lot of negative attention. That's why she puts them up to garner attention towards herself, to herself. Honestly, because, you know, when, whenever she puts one of these videos up, it essentially becomes like an event, like a, a stage, if, if, if that makes any sense, you know? And it's worked. She's generated millions upon millions upon millions of views off this series. Off, you know, just these, just these biased, flawed opinions. And they've become, she's become essentially an internet phenomenon because of it. So I gotta give her props, at least on that, because she obviously knows what people want to watch. And what's going to generate the most views and the most attention. And people fall for it hook, line, and sinker every single time. Even though Anita Sarkeesian may say that she detests trolls, really, she's kind of one herself. Because she just does it to antagonize gamers, to piss them off. And it works. It works. And it has worked ever since this series started a few years ago. But just because I think Anita Sarkeesian is a genius, a marketing genius, does that mean her videos are any good or her opinions are, you know, any less flawed? No, it doesn't mean her videos are good, and it certainly doesn't, her opinion, it certainly doesn't mean her opinions aren't flawed, because they are. I think, really, the problem that I have with Anita Sarkeesian is the fact that she has this enormous victim complex, and I'm not the only one that's noticed this. Just, she likes to constantly shoot her mouth off, like, on, on Twitter and all these other social media networks and to the press about, you know, all these, you know, trolls and how she's getting death threats and rape threats and how horrible and unnerving it is for her, which I will agree, that is awful, and even though, yes, her opinions are flawed and her logic is really warped, you know, her opinions are still opinions, and she should have every right to express them without fear of being attacked. But I'm really kind of starting to think that she just does this to herself. Again, to generate attention towards herself. 
because she knows that the media is automatically going to go against gamers and rush to her aid and, you know, support her in whatever she does. You know, that's why she does it. And she's using the examples of, like, like four or five trolls to generalize the gaming audience as a whole, and I feel that's wrong. You can't take the action of a bunch of trolls who are doing it to troll you, to try to make you upset, to try and say, oh, this is how gamers are as a whole, they're a bunch of misogynistic, they're a bunch of violent, sexist misogynists, and, you know, they're awful, horrible people, and, you know, they need to be stopped. You can't say that. That's wrong. And that, in of itself, is very dishonest. You're kind of lying to your audience. You're trying to make them believe that's what gamers are as a whole, when you know that's not how all gamers act. You know this, Anita. But yet, you're trying to lie to your audience in hopes that they won't notice that you're trying to lie to them. Well, I'm not that stupid, and I don't think a majority of the audience who watches these videos are that gullible. They know what you're trying to do here. And, you know, if you're really trying to, you know, blaze a path for females in the industry, and you're trying, you know, to shed a light on, you know, a male-dominated industry and the fact that there are a lack of females in it, you could start by not lying to your audience and, you know, just being honest. Sure, yeah, there are always going to be assholes. Sure, yes, there are always going to be trolls that are going to talk shit. And, you know, there's always going to be people in their mother's basements who will say all these vile, disgusting things. But, you know, you should know that's not what all ga that's not... I I'm sorry. You should know that not all gamers act like this. You should know that, you know, that deep down on the surface there are a lot of friendly, you know, sociable people that are gamers. That just love to play video games because they're passionate about it. You don't play video games. You don't care about gaming culture. You said it yourself. I mean, there's a video on it. I'm not going to play it because it's been done to death a thousand times. But you yourself have said you don't care about video games. You don't play them. You're not in tune to them. But yet you're trying. And then you go back and say, oh, I've always been a gamer. I love video games. You know, I've played them since I was a kid. That That's dishonest. You're using it to try and lie to your audience. You're using this to make a point, to try to ma paint gamers out as being the villains here. And that's wrong. You're being factually dishonest. Like, you know, don't you find that to be wrong? Don't you find, you know, don't you find guilt in that? But, you know, I guess since you're getting tons of attention from it, you don't you're not, you don't find yourself, you don't have any guilt, you don't have any shame, you know, you're just spouting off these really, you know, you're just spouting off these terribly infactual opinions just to try to paint this narrative about how horrible gamers are, when you know that not all gamers act like this, you know, and I mean, like, I mean, come on, if you're trying to paint a narrative that gamers are awful people, you can't just lie and say, oh, I don't play video games, you know, I, I don't really like them, but then go and say, oh, I totally like video games, yeah, I played them since I was a kid. You know, you can't do that. But I know, I, this, this is Anita Sarkeesian in, in a nutshell. You, you, you lie all the time, you lie to make a point, and you lie to try and cover up your wrongdoings. That's what you're doing here. And then you have this victim complex, like, oh, oh, like, look at me, look at me, I'm, I'm the poor victim, look at what these people said about me. If it was truly terrible and, unner and unnerving like you say it is, then, you know, why are you giving it attention? You know, why are you on Twitter, and, and why are you on Twitter and in the media constantly talking about it? Is this, it's if you're looking for attention, you're looking for people to shine that eye on you. And if you want attention in the gaming industry, you should do it by being honest and actually, you know, looking at, you know, the perspective of females in video games from both sides. 
You're looking at it from one side. You're looking at it, you know, unbiased. You're looking at it at a very biased perspective. You know, if you looked at it from both sides of the argument and you saw where we as gamers were coming from, it would make your videos ten times better. I'm telling you. You, you know, like... But, you know, why do you care? I, I know it's going to fall on deaf ears, and I know you're not going to really take anything that I say to light. But really, I'm telling you that the victim complex that you have, you know, it, it's, it's really, it's become all-consuming, and it's not healthy. It really isn't. Eventually, you're going to burn yourself out in this pursuit that you have to try to extend your 15 minutes of fame. Zoe Queen tried to do the same thing, and look at where she is now. Sure, she had her 15 minutes of fame, and people, you know, talked about her, but really, who gives a shit about her now? Yeah, that's right, no one. But you know what? I, I, I really have nothing else to say on this. I mean... I mean, I could call, I could say Anita Sarkeesian is a bitch, or a cunt, or a con artist, or any of the other names people have called her. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say that she's, you know, a factually dishonest person who lies to really more or less paint this negative narrative that she knows is not true. And to essentially, you know, for fame, for money, for notoriety. And as somebody that genuinely cares about video games and the industry itself, I find it to be, you know, pretty insulting and angering. You know, and kind of an insult to female, actual, to females in the video game industry who work hard and make good games without any of this bullshit drama. But hey, I guess that's the Miss Sarkeesian for you. Nothing more, nothing less, and she'll continue to be in the headlines for a long time to come. I don't think she's going away anytime soon, even though, to be honest, I kind of wish she did. Anyways, that's all I gotta say on this. This is Dakit Douglas, aka the Unhero, signing out. Deuces. Stay frosty and keep it weird. Oh. Cue the random explosion.